Catholic magic, true or false? Christian missionaries perform miracles by healing on the stage, is it true or false? If it's true how do they do it? Muslims also believe in miracles, very much so, we believe in miracles happening around us every day, without doubt, we consider human beings to be one of the miracles of Almighty Allah, Allah says in the Quran lak wat kalaknal insana fi ashani taqwim, thumaradad nahu is falasafilid. It's clear in the Quran that Allah tells us that we're one of the miracles that he created, and he blew life into Adam, and he gives every one of us live, and he gives us breath, and he gives us a brain, and he allows us to know up from down, right from left, and also to know when it's raining, and somebody's pouring water on your boots. There are a lot of guys that do stuff for show and do, I used to know these guys personally, I used to travel with one of them, and I'm going to tell you right now you don't want to know the things they do after they walk off the stage, and you don't want to know all the people that they pay off to pull all their little tricks, and a lot of people are highly emotional and giving into this kind of stuff. You see them coming in a wheelchair, well I'll tell you what, when I go to airports many times I use the wheelchair to transport from one side to the other, and when I do toff around the Kaaba I always use the wheelchair, and when it's all over with you can take a camera and show, here's a guy going around the Kaaba, going around, look at that, in a wheelchair and suddenly I get up and walk out, hallelujah, a-m-i-r-a-c-l-e, I forgot to tell you I could walk when I sat down. The other thing they'll do is tell you somebody has a tumor or cancer, that's one of the famous ones that they love to tell you, somebody's got a tumor or cancer, somebody right over here, I know you got a pain. Well, all of us got pains, if you eat this hot food in India, you're going to have lots of pains, yeah? And they get you up on the stage and you're all nervous and you're going to be, heal in the name of. And then what? They knock you down to the floor, you get up and you're like oh man, I better say I'm okay so they don't hit me again. Yeah I know about this stuff, and if you want to buy into that, if you consider that a miracle, let me share with you a real miracle, and I want you to think about this, let's take any 10 people from right here that are all from this city here in Chennai, any 10, and line them up, and then read two paragraphs of some made up poetry, anything you know that you made up that they never heard before, two paragraphs, and just recite it to this one and then let him whisper it to the next one and then he'll whisper it to the next one and the next one till you get down to the number 10. Will it be anything like the original, yes or no? You're right, it will not be anything like it. We used to play that game when we were kids, we called it telephone, it was a lot of fun. Now I'm going to ask you we talked about 10 people all living today in the same place with the same language with the same dialect, and we only talked about 10. Now I'm going to ask you, what are the chances that somebody speaking the Arabic language, living 1400 years ago in the desert? could recite 6,237 verses all in Arabic, and have it exactly memorized and passed down for 30 generations without a single loss of a single word or even a vowel marker or even a dot. It's impossible, except if it came from Allah. And by the way, no matter what I say it doesn't matter, what matters is what he, Allah, said. He said he'll protect that until the sun rises from the place where it sets, 